What's going on my teamers? I go by Dom Kali. In this video, we're going to be breaking down exactly why you should not be buying these new limited edition three packs that were just released in 2K22 My Team. But before we do that, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and liked the video, please consider doing so. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers, the holy grail monetization. Also, catch me live streaming every day, 4 p.m. until 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so right off the bat, let's just talk about what it takes to get 21 packs in limited edition three and what you get out of them. So as you can see, all of these packs are available with the player in front, which means you can get the Derek Rose plus the 20 pack box. You can get James Harden plus the 20 pack box, Lonzo Ball, Cat, Anthony Edwards, or Jalen Rose. But one thing to note right off the bat is you cannot sell any of these guaranteed players in these packs. So that's a huge drag because usually when you buy packs, you at least get some turnover with MT. If you get a good player, you play with him for a little while and you're able to sell him while they're still available in the auction market at a decent price. But when you're buying any of these packs here, you're stuck with that player. The best you can do is put a diamond shoe on them and play with them until their time expires, I guess. Um, but the biggest thing here guys is looking at the vc it takes to buy these packs versus how much it actually costs let's just pretend like we're making a purchase here we would obviously need to buy more vc and as you can see it takes at least 200,000 vc to buy any of these packs and what does 200,000 vc translate to 50 dollars of your own actual real hard-earned money and let's not forget that you bought the game for at least $60 or $75 uh, through, you know, however you bought the game. So right on that, you're already over $100 for the game. And let's think about this for a second, guys. Last time they came out with all these big packs, uh, let's say a month ago, two months ago, like the original flash packs or something like that. Players were going for like over 100,000 MT. Players that right now on this date, which is February 7th, they're going for like literally 6,000 MT, 8,000 MT. You know what I mean? Those are players that were literally worth 100,000 MT. And in these packs, should you get one of these players that aren't already guaranteed, even then your cards deval devalue massively. So guys, think about it. In three weeks, from now there'll be new packs that came out there'll be three new generations of packs that came out with these cards and in order for you to do exactly what you've been doing you basically have to pay fifty dollars every tuesday you know what i mean in the in that sense um and maybe they won't be as expensive vc wise maybe they'll be a bit, little bit less since they don't have the toppers on them but still guys you get my point in two weeks your fifty dollars in translation to VC or MT is now like worth $4, $5, you know what I mean? So that's literally like you gave the game that money and when you're able to sell that stuff, they'll give you back maybe four of your dollars. But in reality, it all stays in circulation with the game. So to keep this video as short as possible, guys, unless you're seriously trying to sweat and there's no other way for you to catch up quickly enough like you only play the game every week, which at that point, why would you be paying for it? But that's the only thing that makes sense. Like then don't buy these packs that are 50 real dollars and you can't even sell the topper on it. You can't even sell the player that you just paid for. So you got to keep them. You can't get any MT in return for that. And you basically got to hope that you actually unpack another galaxy opal within these limited edition packs. But just to re just to recap here all of these players devalue massively in a two week three week time spread time span so do you really want that fifty dollars you just put in for a guaranteed player that you're gonna play with for maybe three weeks and sweat for maybe three weeks maybe two weeks maybe maybe five you know you basically said i'm paying fifty dollars to be sweaty for not that long and then somebody can come along, have just bought the game and go get that player that you literally spent $50 for in the auction house for maybe, you know, four days worth of grinding. So 
long story short guys don't buy these limited edition three packs don't buy any massive vc loaded packs because in a matter of weeks that player that you are trying to unpack in there even if you got the best one available it's going to devalue massively so guys if that information is helpful to you please consider liking the video subscribe leave a comment down below if you think that buying packs is the way or if you think there's another option that is smart when it comes to doing packs but as far as i can tell guys it is not worth your hard-earned money your parents hard-earned money your the people who are gifting you these playstation rewards or xbox rewards ca points cash to just unpack a player that's solid even tremendous for three weeks and then eventually the new drop comes out and then there's a player that stacks on top of them because guys we're not even into the dark matter players yet once you get to those dark matter players then you know get the best player available period but or try and unpack for the best play player available period but until the best player available becomes available there's, or in your consideration, there's no reason to go for all these packs that are literally $50 at a time, $40 at a time for a player that's going to be good for maybe two weeks, maybe up to five weeks. So guys, once again, I go by Dom Kali. Leave a comment below on what you think about all of this, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!